Hi guys, myself Vijay Tavardhan and in this video lecture show, session I am going to show you a solution on projection of plane surfaces. And an example problem is like this. A hexagonal lamina of size 25 mm is resting on one of its corners on HP. The lamina makes 45 degree to HP and the diagonal passing through the corner on which it rests is inclined at 30 degree to VP. Draw its projections. According to the given conditions, one has to construct a hexagon of size 25 millimeter. So for which go to applications, macros and uh, then select the inside polygon and select the flat length. Then the flat length is supposed to be a 25 millimeter and number of sides on the hexagon are 6. Then press the left click anywhere on the screen using the mouse. Now one can see hexagon of size 25 millimeter is obtained. Now it is resting on corner. So select this. Uh, hexagon then go to rotate command and select this edge and rotate this edge in such a way that it will become a corner resting and then uh, place this hexagon at the required position in HP then make use of a line command with respect to the thickness of 0 0.13 millimeter draw the projectors from each and every corners till it touches the XY line to draw the front view in the stage and then after drawing these lines then changing the line thickness to 0.5 millimeter one has to complete the front view as split lines because the split lines will help us to draw the projectors in the next stage very easily then make use of a smart dimension command show that the size of the hexagon is 25 millimeter then using the text command start giving the namings of the corners like a b c d and this is going to be e and f accordingly the front view will be named like this a dash then b dash f dash then c dash e dash c dash e dash and then d dash and after which the lamina makes 45 degree to hp now select the front view go to a move command move with respect to a dash a dash is going to be repositioned on the x y line properly then go to a rotate command a dash is supposed to be on the xy line and d dash is supposed to be rotated at an angle of 45 degree as per the given condition then go for angle between command show that the angle between these two lines are supposed to be 45 degree then make use of a line command with the thickness of 0 0.13 start drawing the projectors from the respective corners to complete the top view now we shall draw the projectors as per the required conditions and then once the projector is drawn one has to complete the namings accordingly now the projector is going to be completed almost then according to the corners what we are going to get using the text command it should be named properly like a b c d e and then finally f and after which make use of a line command with the thickness of 0 0.5 millimeter join the lines a b c d to represent the top view properly now after which the diagonal passing through the resting corner is inclined at 30 degree to vp now the diagonal passing through the resting corner is a d in the first stages measuring as 50 millimeter and here after inclination to hp at 45 degree it is reduced to 35.36 and the given angle is 30 degree it is a true angle so one has to construct the apparent angle to draw the apparent length so now an uh, inclined line is going to be constructed at an angle of 30 degree to x y line now 30 degree is the angle to be selected and this extra line i am going to delete it then make use of a point command with a thickness of 0 0.5 sorry uh, 2 millimeter locate that point anywhere on the 30 degree line what we have created then go to arc by center point with a thickness of 0 0.13 millimeter whatever the point we have created select that as a reference point then the radius must be selected as 50 millimeter and then draw an arc with respect to the uh, true inclination that is representing true length on the true angle then to get a locus one has to draw the line with the intersection over here then the locus is generated then make use of arc by center point command 
and this is the center point once again the radius point must be selected as 35.36 millimeter and one has to complete the locus like this so r on the locus line then using a line command with a thickness of 0 0.13 join this point and this arc end point which is going to be a apparent angle beta now the angle between this line and xy line is supposed to be the apparent angle which is measuring as 45 degree in the current conditions then select the top view completely then make use of a command called as move move with respect to the corner a and a has to be presented on the point what we have created and then go to a rotate command rotate uh, the A is supposed to be fixed and D is going to be rotated and it is supposed to be the end point of the apparent arc or the apparent length line what we have created. And then make use of a line command with a thickness of 0 0.13 millimeter complete the project or complete the projectors by drawing the lines properly. Now C and E is going to be connected. Now here the angle must be locked as 90 degree and then we have b and a is still on the x y line so a b is projected till the x y line and then the remaining is uh, d so d is going to be projected at this height and f, uh, f is there so b is not going to be on the x y line so let us uh, uh, draw the projectors of b little bit higher position because only a is on the x y line so along with B we have uh, F also. So using a line command once again, we'll connect F to F properly. A is already connected. Then make use of the text command and start giving the namings. So this corner will be A dash. This corner will be F dash, E dash, D dash, C dash, and this is going to be the B dash. Then using a line command with a thickness of 0 0.5, complete the front view by joining the respective corners a dash b dash c dash d dash e dash f dash back to a dash now one can say that the problem is completed as per the given conditions now if you have any doubts to solve this problem please feel free to contact me also please do share this video to all your first year engineering students and also do subscribe to my youtube channel Thanks for my watching my video. Thank you guys.